Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out the world's most humane mouse-friendly mousetraps that also happens to be one of the most effective mousetraps ever invented. This video is going to be a lot of fun because inside this tank here, we're going to create a mouse paradise where the mice are going to actually enjoy getting trapped. We're going to set it up in the barn with motion cameras and we're going to see how the mice interact with all the things we place inside there. After we catch that first mouse, its friends are going to come along, see it having all the fun, and they're going to search for a way to join it. Inside this tank, we're going to place soft bedding, places for the mice to hide with nesting material, an exercise wheel, a water bottle, and gourmet mouse food. Now I went on Amazon searching for pet mice accessories. I was surprised with how many different things there are. And these mice we catch are going to be some of the most spoiled mice ever. Now I came up with this idea, I built the trap. After reading YouTube viewers' comments, I received thousands and thousands of comments each week from YouTube viewers who want advice on dealing with a mouse problem. Now the vast majority are dealing with damage and a mess caused by mice and they just want to get rid of them. They want to know the most effective kill trap. In my opinion, one of the most effective traps ever is called the flip and slide. This is the original. It's designed to fit on a five gallon bucket. There's a ramp, the mice try to get the bait under here. They walk, the teeter-totter drops them down, they drop in a bucket of water, and it resets. It's a very low tech resetting option that can catch multiple mice. It's a great trap. It's my all time favorite trap actually. I have a mouse trap collection with over 2,000 different traps. I've been making these videos for over five years and this the original one, not the Chinese copies, is the best trap ever, the flip and slide. But I thought I'd modify it to make it a humane trap. I started by getting a 20 gallon fish tank at the pet store. I went with a 20 gallon because a 10 gallon is too narrow and doesn't fit the flip and slide. Then I created a lid right here, I attached it. That fits perfectly on the trap. The mice will go up there and drop down. The only thing we need to do is make this a really nice place for the mice down in the tank. The first thing I'm going to add is a layer of soft bedding. We have some pine shavings here. That will give them a soft landing when they drop down. Next we have an exercise wheel. We want them to have food and water. We have a water bottle and a place for the food down below. And a place to hide. We have some nesting material inside a coconut shell. We want to make sure they're well nourished. I have some Himalayan sea salt in case they need salt. We have some cheese flavored chews. They're also shaped like a cheese. They're made for mice and hamsters. And for gourmet food, we have a Mimi Mouse tasty mix made by Tiny Friends Farms. The mice look so happy in there. We'll fill up the tray. This has so many different ingredients, whole grains, lots of things for the mice to eat. It almost looks like they have frosted cornflakes in there as well. And for a bonus treat, we have the yogurt flavored blueberries made for hamsters and mice. Those look so good, I could even eat them. We'll place them in the food bin. So as the mouse drops down, they can have food, they can have water, they can exercise, they can chew, they can lick some salt, and they can hide in the soft nesting material. Let's set up the trap and we'll test it out with our pet mice. Okay, mouse, show us how this trap works. A nice soft landing, and now it can explore. My pet mouse really likes hiding in the coconut shell. It also likes eating the gourmet food. I can't wait to see what the wild mice do. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see how many mice we catch with the world's most humane mouse trap.
Well, as you could see from the motion camera footage we took last night, we caught three mice in the barn with the mouse friendly flip and slide mouse trap. They went up top, tried to get the bait, dropped down, and then enjoyed the food they've been chewing on the blueberries. They ran on the wheel, and right now they're hiding in the coconut. I'm gonna dump that coconut upside down so we can take a look at them. That last one doesn't want to come out. Now what we caught last night are three native species known as a deer mouse. They have large ears, a brown back, a white belly, and furrier tails than the non-native house mice. Now the mice really like the food in there. In the wild they have to search for it, but here there is a giant pile of tasty food they've never had before, including yogurt, blueberries, and all kinds of grains. Now you do have to be careful because in the past these native deer mice have eaten each other when they've been trapped in a bucket. So make sure you provide enough food so that isn't a problem. Now another really important feature was the exercise wheel. Normally they try to escape, they jump all night long, but the wheel seemed to calm them down and burn off some of that energy. Now another really important feature is a comfortable place for them to hide with nesting material. That's where the coconut came into place. They all climbed in there together and shared body heat. It was well below freezing last night, down in the 20s, but with the nesting material and the three of them, they did just fine. Now these mice do look cute and you might want to keep them as pets, but I have a huge word of caution that's not a good idea. In my experience, I've seen that many of these mice are carrying parasites, including botfly maggots, ticks, fleas, and who knows what's inside, worms, or even viruses that can kill you, such as hantavirus. And also in the past, I've been bit on the finger by a deer mouse, and it sent me to the urgent care with a nasty infection. And another thing to think about is your state might have laws against keeping wild animals. I live in the state of Oregon and they have something called Division 44 which regulates wild animals being captured. You are allowed to keep them as pets but only two mice so having three here is over the limit and not legal. So given the safety concerns and the legal concerns I'm not going to keep these. Instead I'm going to set them free far away from any buildings where they won't cause any more trouble. Okay mice it's time to go free. There's one. Two. This one always wants to stay inside. Three. As I wrap up this video, I just want to give a word of caution. There are so many companies out there making fake versions of my all-time favorite trap, the flip and slide. They use the same name, they steal my footage from YouTube, they even use my picture. So if you want the original, make sure you click the link down below that will take you to the official Rennie website or their official Amazon store. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.